better at like quick starting these streams. So welcome to Slay the Spire on the tube. Welcome to uh, currently Ascension 16. Uh, we actually made it up there, ladies and gentlemen. Some some cup of claps in the chat. Uh, we're we're ready to get it done. Uh, shout out to everyone that's here this morning. Greetings. Uh, pleasure to the first two, Frenchie and Odora Flow. We made it there first. Now let's see if we can rebuild our Maniac Ascension climbing deck that we had. Uh, obtain a random common relic. I mean, these are all not good. Random boss relic never really works. Uh, that is Bronx Scales. That is insane. Uh, da, 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 da. One boss, second boss, shop at the end. Yep. Yeah. I kind of like in the first in the first level, I want to always take as many fights as possible to really get all the cards you're looking for. You know, to build to build up your repertoire, repertoire of cards. I could double block and that's it. Still take damage but not do anything. I like an annoying choice. I mean, we do 3, so that's that. Wow, we're getting robbed. Every every turn where we could just blast out damage, we get nothing. That's not what I like to see. I mean, at least we do three damage per turn, so that's the least. The stream games mode, hey, they, they don't work right now the way you want to have them work uh, on the YouTube. Ah, your killer motto. Uh, no, no, killer motto and then French. Uh, sorry, French, you confused me there. That's like, oh, you said your killer motto. Jesus. Uh, I do like Riddle. I mean, it's 20 damage. At the beginning, it's 15 damage. It's like a wee bit more, but we're probably going to go for Quake Slash to go faster through the deck. It's like, you know, you, you, di you didn't draw any attack cards. That's fine. Quick Slash. Block. Take one damage. That one damage is so painful. Hit him. Don't take one damage, but kill him. Another riddle. I, I do want to take Flechettes. Flechettes has been an absolute staple as of late. Remove a card from it. Yes, please. Uh, that is a strike card. Making Flechettes even stronger. I mean, it's so good. Like, this is this is 8 damage for 1. Worst case scenario, but it could be so much more. Can we hit him? Defense up. Defense up. He dies with 1 hit next turn. I mean, he beefs him up now. Dies. Block. End. And then we just slap him. Bouncing Flask over Slice. Yes, Bouncing Flask is good if you can essentially just like spam Bouncing Flask back to back to back. Well, well, well. Do we take five damage here right now? It is painful. I don't like to take the five damage here right now. But on the other hand... Another eight damage. I also really, really do want to poison him. So useful. Hit, hit, and he's already dead. I do, again, like the prepared. Okay, we could ignore the... Do I want to ignore it or do I want to, like, upgrade my bouncing flask? That's the question. Because uh, an upgraded bouncing flask is quite nice. Having having four or twelve poison instead of nine is, is quite something. Okay, see that's that's an instant sixteen damage for one mana. That's quite cool, isn't it? Don't need to play the flash there. Why do we attack him first? Well, because he was beefing up and we don't want him to beef up. Draw another card. Drop that. We bust to 15 now, but we can bouncy flask him. And that's it. Hee <laughs> hee. Poison stab, predator, or escape plan. Mm, I mean, escape plan is a skill, and that works plenty well together with flechettes, and I can just draw bonus cards, so that's nice. Predator gives me two card draw, which also works with flechettes, because I could draw, like, the two bonus cards that we just need to... To get together what I want. Uh, we have the Bouncing Flask, which we want to have straight away for the first fight. Um, I 
This is tricky because it's, we could play the Bonzi for last, but we could also hit him like just for for like the amount here. Hmm. Very shitty hand. That's the second one. I'm gonna. I was thinking about giving him the triple week straight away. Give him the week. Hit him. Okay, bouncing flask. Oh, but I should have played the flesh first. No, oh, made a mistake. I'd have to redo the whole thing. Missed out on damage. I mean, not on damage that matters because he dies anyways, but still. Eternal Feather. For every five cards in your heal, uh, for every five cards in your deck, heal for three of page when you ever enter a rest side. <laughs> uh, backflip is awesome. Works very good for this deck. Uh, we go we get the Smiling Mask. And then we heal. Thank you. Now the question is, do we upgrade this to six damage each? Now we build a 50 card plus deck. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to build a card draw heavy deck. That's for sure. Okay, fill with potions. Oh, uh, shit. These potions suck. We should probably go for the Bouncing Flask and then drink a 12 block potion. Hmm. 12 block potion. Ow. I hate taking damage there. Might have actually taken the uh, artifact neutralization. You know? A large deck can work. Yeah, if I if I get the cards to draw, to be honest. So we should probably drink and then use the artifact and the block. Still throw this. Still do the block. Because you just don't want to be weaker, right? We want to be able to kill things now. So I could do three and six. That would kill him. I do six and six. That would just kill him. That's a quick slash. That's actually nice. Because that will allow me to do... Uh, aid. And three. He dies. I can block for five or I could kill him as well. I guess. Or 11 or four. Good. Phantasmal Killer. I like the double damage and it would kind of fit with the deck that we're playing here on the maximum get everything. But I guess since we're playing a high card deck, I will play with the the dodge rolls so we just get more in the deck. You now just have more. The shots. He's gonna split. He's gonna split! Get it. Survive. Survive. Mm. A block. Yeah, just spray to the point where we could just kill it next turn easily. Hmm. To play a poison or not to play a poison? That is here the question. Wee. Okay, that turned out to be like a, a good choice because it might have been bad. I also need to pick up one more card to be at 20 cards, actually. Because then, then we get like healed for another fiver. So we take terror. Thank you very much. 
And then we'll try to beat this, even though it's going to hurt. Okay, Bouncy Flask. Good start. Good start. Good start, Chan. We hit him with that. We hit him with this. We drink the artifact so we actually don't get vulnerable by him. Because he's going to do the, the vulnerable at some point, And we don't want that. Uh, this is 18 damage. Oh, we could go for the Predator. But I think we'll do 18. And we're going to hit him with this. Yeah, and then I can just kill him. Perfect. So that was worth it. Just take the damage. Uh, we get Liquid Bronze. We get Thorns. We get a Masterful Stabadoodle. Thank you very much. We get to the shop, and the remove cost always 50. When you add a power card into your deck, upgrade it. That's awesome and very greedy, and I'll totally take it. And then we remove another attack. So whenever I get a power card now, we, we have power plus straight away. So that's cool. We get an instant heal and a heal. So that that's that's big. Bronx good to see you there. Tobias is uh shadow. Also, howdy again to everyone. Greetings. Okay, that's that's a frozen egg. That should be nice. Okay, the flechettes for, for big damage. See, this is why I love this. Like it just it just works. And the more the more cards you have, like that, like I need I need one energy booster so I can just go like for my nasty card draw. To always be ready. Uh, we can play Terror. Masterful steps for free, followed up by 22 damage. Oh god, I damaged him too much. Hmm. We'll see if that is the calling or not. <laughs> more thorns. No, we'll see if that was the play or if we just hurt ourselves beyond recognition. Oh no, that that was bad. It just essentially cost me not playing the flechettes. Masterful steps for nine. Sifting through the deck. Okay, he's gonna die next turn. Yeah, this is bad. I I, I want to redo this. There's too much damage we did in that one turn. I mean, it started it started off good, but we went a little bit off track there. No, we went we went like a little bit too hard with the terror and then that and then we're like doing the 22 damage to him was was a wee bit too much I'd rather go for the dodge roll big slash down yeah this is this is like significantly like that's that's having them on 51 each is definitely something different uh we can play the backflip get two cards Play the slash to get another card. Can play the masterful stab. Can play the flechettes. But we most likely don't want to risk that. It's at 31. I hit him for six. He goes down to 25. We don't we don't want that. Yeah, down to 14, so that's good. That's two tiny shitters that we can actually kill. Apply weak to that. Get him the one, two, three, four. Good. Dodge rolls, so we have two turns in a row. Decent. He dies in two turns. We don't have to do anything. Uh... Do this and that and then drop the slime. So we don't have to touch him because he literally just kills himself. Uh, the flechettes is for one. That's not good. Uh, we're going to murder him. Oh, wow. That's 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 really that's really not it. That's hot shit. I'm going to get split so nicely. Uh, we could do nine uh, backflip. 
Oh, no, but that that is aid. Yeah, that's aid. I'll take it into a block. Ladies and gentlemen, we managed. Bam, bam. Ooh, done. Okay, Kellos Potion, Wraith Form Plus. Yes! Thank you, Frozen Egg. And Slave Caller for Elite Card. No, Discard. Ooh, Kite for the Discard, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Kite Boys in the chat. Can I have some Kite Boys in the chat? <laughs> Where are my kites at, Chan? Spread your wings. We, we do have the deck to make this work. Okay, that's 18 damage straight away. Da -da -da -dum. Then we block and drop to get the bonus. We hit it with a 12. We go for the double trouble. We drink the colorless potion. We get another six block because we can. Okay, we could hit him with a flask, but we could also kill that guy straight away. Hmm. Interesting choice. I think we kill him straight away and also hurt him. That gives us the full range of damage here for 11. We can terror him. Slash him for 12. Get another card. Masterful stab him for 18. And then, yeah. Whoa, that was nice. Uh, we can take the slice for free as we need cards. And we have card draw. The slice kind of fits in because we're going to roll through the deck. Like there's no tomorrow. Uh, that These guys are an actual problem. I mean, they're also going to kill themselves. So that's kind of like that. Mm. Takes 18 damage. Takes 18 damage. They're both going to be almost dead. So we're going to... Backflip. Rob. Terror. Hid. Hid. Dodge and roll for next turn. Yeah. Just want him to, like, effectively die next turn, right? One, two, three. Shit, that's unlucky. I could have used the full sheds there. Uh, we could use Wraith Form to... Yeah, we can use Wraith Form and they're actually going to hurt themselves very hard. It's still a wee bit unlucky that we're going to take six from that. But it seems like the most reasonable approach here. Oh, finisher plus. Finisher can be nasty. Deal 8 damage for each attack you play this turn, but I don't have the cards to really play together with that. So I'd rather take another backflip to just draw more cards. Obtain a relic and become cursed. There's a shop. I could remove that. Oh, that's a flower pot. That's insane. That's very good. We all love the flower pot. One... Two, three. I'm scared that we are just going to take so much damage here right now and it's not going to be funny. And I think I'm right. I think I did a mistake there, but let's see. All that plays out. That's Wraith Form. I hate to do it, but it might be the only saving grace we have at this point. Now to just play the Wraith Form and just next three turns we take only damage each. Now we have one more free turn. Good. Ooh. I hate you, Sneko, Sneko. 
Poisonous stab. No, we're gonna go for the quick slash again. We, we need to ever, ever any card draw card. Oh yeah, obtain a special relic. So we get jaxed. So we we need like any any card to to get this done. Oh, footwork plus would be nice if I can get that. We need to remove more attacks. That's for sure. I uh, know we need to remove the rift. That's for sure. And we take the footwork plus. Good. Gain fifty gold. Is there another shop? There's no more shop. We're not. We're not getting. We're not getting there. Do you use any mods? No, I don't do any mods. I, I I never looked like really at the mods. I just wanted to play the game as as is and enjoy as is. Uh, never never really had the use for for the mods to be honest. Uh, we could use. I just press skip on my bond. <laughs> Let's do that again with the potion. I just fat fingers skip Chan. Okay. Skill potion. Uh, we could do nine. We can kill Dave here. Mm. We could kill Timothy as well. And we can backflip to draw some cards. It's a masterful step. Awesome. Good work. And dodge roll. The so next turn, we're taking some with us. You know, in case he wants to attack. Okay. Uh, we flask him. We block for aid. Ow. Terror and double card draw next turn. Okay, we need to kill Jeffrey and Dave. Don't see how we could kill Jeffrey and Dave right now. Might be that we have to full send it on him. And I don't know if that's an option. And I'm essentially just trying to kill him. I mean, I was thinking about playing the Wraith for him because we're essentially saved the next three turns. Uh, and we should have played the Wraith for him, yep. So we have to we have to potentially just play the Wraith for him there and then just be like, screw it for the next three turns. We'll just be hounding him down. So that might be better. I mean, who knows if that is truly better? Right? I'm just going through the quick slashes here, Chan. Missed the missed the flash though due to that. Okay, now, now the world is looking a wee bit different due to the path I took with the cards. So we're not sure what I'm actually going to even draw here. Oh, we have the Wraith form. That's what we should probably do. Because the Wraith form is going to be one damage no matter what they do, right? Next turn, it's no damage again. Uh, we drop this because this is like more skilled. Yeah, we have one more intangible and we're done. Good. See, that wraith form just worked out plenty well. Uh, how was Volong Fallen Dynasty? It was fun. But it wasn't like game of the year fun. So if you can get it heavily discounted, I can recommend Volong Fallen Dynasty. But only if you could achieve it heavily discounted. Else I do not see where it really is a game that you should pick up. After images into Predator into block and block potentially. 
not a bad game by no means, but also nothing to, to like, you know, that you want to play full price for. Always sounds so mean when I say that, you know, you don't want to play full price for a game. But what can I say when, when that's the fact, you know? Okay, we just absolutely killed him. I mean, there was there it was on Game Pass, so if you can if you if you have the Game Pass, I guess you're good to go. You know, simple. You get you get the Game Pass, you're good to go. I would take four with me into the next one, I guess. Because then then like no complaints, you know. Game games games Game Pass good. If that makes sense. So that that's that's what I would say right now. Our deck is doing an incredible good job at this point. We need another prepare. No, we need a slice plus. I want it. Oh no, not the planty. I was I was no no. I was just like saying our deck is so good and everything is going fine, and then they're like, hey, look at my plan. My plan is amazing, and I'm like, no, I don't want to look at your plan. Also, your plan is not amazing. Suck it, nerd. For free, and then we're gonna backflip, and we're gonna hit it again. Wow, I did, I did like damage for days to this Chan, and now I get robbed. That's like, we didn't take a single damage point. That's crazy. Okay, we should take the legs. No, we should take the acrobatics. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. Our deck is turning into something truly dangerous for our opponents. Okay, we go for the after images. I'm drinking the potion to take... Dumb, dumb, dumb. Once in a while, I'm actually not taking a single damage point from the first assault. Which is usually not possible. You always do take a damage point from their shit. Uh, we're going to have to try out the backflip. And we get nothing. And we're going to terror him. I'm going to slice that. And we're going to try the next backflip. To slice it again. But we have enough due to our, you know, awesomeness. Again, this deck is, like, turning out to be shit. We get intangibled. Oh, that is merely annoying. He hit us with his spells so that we can't actually attack. What the toxic hell. Not what I would want to see. Okay, we can kill him. That's good. We're at 18, so they, they're not dealing that much damage to us, but more than I'm comfortable with. Oh, we could do Wraith Form. How about I just say screw it, Wraith Form, and then we are happy. He heavily ever after. When I get three turns now, so we're, we're now on that countdown where in three turns I have to, have to kill them. But I should be able to get that done. And as I said that we should be able to kill them in three turns, I continue just drawing shitty cards so that <laughs> we would essentially not be able to get them killed in three turns. That's a lot of wounds that we're having here in the deck, and I don't dig it. Yeah, masterful stab. That's good. I'm pretty good. Oh, holy... Maw Bang, completely useless. We don't need that anymore. We don't need any of these cards. I mean, actually, the Maw Bang is nice, so we should we should be happy about it. Uh, after Images into Stab, Neutralize, Quick Slash. Probably should have drank the Strength Potion. Oh, that is nasty. We drink the two strength potion because that's eight times four. Uh, 
Backflip. Prepared. To drop a card. It's not enough to kill it. I could kill it. Mm. Acrobatics. Drop a card. Hit him with a quick slash. Hit him with a terror. Hit him with a strike. With the backstab, two two more cards, and for free. We're, we're doing good. What are you playing, sir? It's called uh, Slay the Spire. It's a deck building game, so you essentially don't have a deck. You're building a deck, uh, and you're trying to slay the spire. That sounds, <laughs> sounds kind of ominous, but that's essentially what you're trying to do. Uh, Terra for free. And now let me quickly check up on my daughter, guys, because my wife is upstairs with my daughter. Who just came back from the doctor, uh, and I need to know if everything is fine. So, give me a short second. Okay, he is hard to beat, but it's not impossible. Let's begin the journey. After images. Um, draw a card. Discard a card. Um, draw three cards. Discard a card. Stab him. Stab him. Poison. Stab him. Okay, strong start. Strong start. Bad follow up. Them for eight. Them for eight. That's good because now this does double damage. Hmm. Yeah, I, I really don't want to take the two damage points here. We have him down, so that's good. I could do Wraith Form to avoid any kind of damage now. Yeah, I need to do Wraith Form. Flash him for nine. Dodge roll into the next turn. I just don't see how I could otherwise do this. Of not getting like completely obliterated by our opponent. Yeah, ow, that hurts. He's now, where's, where's my boy? You know, who, who killed... Who killed my little Timmy? I'm like, I, I killed your little Timmy. I did. Please jump over him. Thank you. I need to have him die next turn as well. He's, he wants to deal a lot of damage. That's pain. I could...
Mm. Let's see with the two. Okay, that's that might be the last turn in, in which I can actually play Masterful Steb. Uh, we could slice him for six, so he just dies. That's good. Um, we could play Masterful Step for 13. Uh, we could play Quick Slash. And he dies, we take 13, and we take 37, That which is pain. But again, there's not much else I could do. And we need to do a bunch bunch of damage now to get through to him. Uh, back block. Bouncing flask. Do this. Drop that. Could do this. Could do that. We're at 37... 36 and he has 40 though i get two more it wouldn't be enough so he would be dead that didn't work i feel like the deck can do it how's aria she's better uh but we we still have to do some some things with her ear to to like walk her through like everything now okay acrobatics so better but not not perfect I yeah, might might have to deal might have to kill these guys this time for real. To avoid all the damage. Yeah, we we'll still play the Wraith for him. I, I don't think it's a mistake in that turn to play the Wraith for him. Vulnerable that. Hit it for 15. Hit it for 1. I mean, obviously stings, but we, we got that guy destroyed and he just like, you know... nine damage that's acrobatics drop he would die now we need to kill him like this so that we could play bouncing okay so he resummons both that's like that's like the only downside like that he just resummons both there Feels like an absolute gigantic scam. Oh, instead of just resummoning one. And now you get to kill him or they kill you. Sixteen. 16, four, two, because it does vastly less damage. Four, armor up. Actually, we would die there. Oh, I am unhappy with where this is going. <laughs> I was unhappy with this. What new games coming you're looking forward to play? I mean, right now with a February release, we have something called Potion Tycoon that we're going to be playing. Warzone Season 2 is obviously coming. The finals was something we were excited about. Uh, if we're looking for March game releases really quickly, I think there was another game. We were excited for Volong Fallen Dynasty, which obviously fell a wee bit short. So, <sighs> sad phase OP. Mmm... But there was there was another game that was coming. I think it was more of an indie title or, or something in that direction. Let's let's quickly go through this. There's a lot of games. Ah, uh, there is Resident Evil Remake coming. Yes, the Resident Evil 4 remake. I don't know when exactly. Ah, uh, here on the 24th. 
So that's another 11 days out before that actually is a thing. There is Remnant from the Ashes, but that is uh, the release on the Switch, exactly. There's Valheim, but also different. There's Force Cathedral, whichever that is. Never heard of it. Yeah, I think right now, Chia is actually going to be interesting. Chia is going to be a very cute, nice game that's going to be cool to look at. So right now, it's I think it's like Chia and... Remake. Also Shattered Haven. I think Shattered Haven was something intriguing. So nothing nothing big anymore coming in March. More like the smaller titles, plus obviously the standard game that we kind of like to play, you know. What Hades 2? Well, Hades 2 is it seems to be far away. I mean, we're talking about what's what's like uh recent, you know? What's what's gonna be happening soon? Okay, I can do potentially a boss straight away with a 3 HP thingy. So we have the next three combats. Our dudes don't do any damage or, or get like easy down. Oh, that's a uh, dagger spray. Oh, uh, we get cursed. That's for sure. Oh, no. Uh, we could upgrade a card in our deck to instantly get dagger spray up. I kind of like that. Upgrade two random cards as well. Nice. And find two potions. Wow. That's that was a powerful start. I'm not gonna lie. There's a shop right here in the middle that we could go for. So I'm gonna go to the right. Dagger spray. Go for Noxus Fooms. Usually get disappointed by Noxus Fooms, but we'll try it out. Also, we're gonna smith it up straight away. We get the Fooms. Three to everyone. So Hades 2 is definitely something I'm looking forward to, but. That's far out. And then we play also Bane. So we're going to go for the damage boost then. Tori. Tori is insane. Whenever you would receive five or less, unblock damage, reduce it to one. So with, with the Tori, you can you can really nasty play the... Like, like your block. So you, like even if you have like less block, you're going to be able to reduce it to a point where it just doesn't bother you. So you can you can always make the Tori work very very nicely. So if I block, for example, now for ten only, he, w he would only do like one damage to me. Oh, that's fourteen. We're just getting killed. That's in Venom. Wow, that is a nasty poison deck we're building together here. I could get when you add an attack into your deck upgraded. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> Yes, so please. Getting a quick slash straight up upgraded. Hello, Chad. Feeling good here right now. Uh, we could hit him for four with a 12 with another. So we could hit him already for a buttload of damage. But I'm not sure if we technically want to wait for the Envenom. So I'll, I'll, I'll end this turn. We'll wait until we get the Envenom power. Then we'll end the turn. Get the Noxious Fooms. I think if we wait one more turn, he wakes up, right? Yeah, he wakes up one more turn, so we could have... Number 12. I mean, it only makes a difference in one poison, essentially. Eight and eight. Just think about drinking the Sneko oil or actually leaving the boss room altogether. This is looking very good for us. And the 14 damage. Now bring him down to 24. And we get the dagger spray. He's dead. Good. Fire potion. It's another dagger spray. Straight up upgraded. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice. Do I just get the perfect card to actually kill these tiny things? Uh, I can do five. I can do ten. We can po potion bomb him. I forget to actually hit him. Oops. Yeah, but... Ah! <laughs> okay, I forget to hit him. But it shouldn't matter. Good. Another attack card, but we need the bouncing flask. Thank you very much. Let's go for the question mark. And we're getting the play. Finisher plus. Uh, 
No! But I get the finisher plus. Oh, I could have gotten the Grand Finale plus, which never works. Okay, our opponent is the dude, so we can go for Smithy and we can get the Envenom up to one. Oh, this is this is looking mighty nasty. Okay, neutralize. Dagger spray. Uh, Sneko oil. And venom. Noxious fumes. Defend. We'll play that like slightly different. Shouldn't matter, but we'll see. I could, could have slightly played that different. Shouldn't matter, especially with a Tori here again blocking everything. So right now with the eight block here, I block six and then he does another six, but that's only four and that four gets reduced to one because of the Tori. <laughs> He's dead next turn technically. And the technically is so practically. Good. Oh, we could take a glass knife plus. Yeah, that's actually nice. For one mana, 24 damage. Even though if it gets reduced by two is good. Then again, the first time you discard a card each turn, you get uh, one mana. I, I do like that because I just pick up the discard cards again and we're, we're perfect. Rod Finale is best deck. I just don't know how to build it. Okay, we need to take the route with the most monster battles because we need a lot of discard cards now to make this work uh we can take noxious fumes against him yes oh uh, we can block i could probably do 10 damage to him so i can at least hit his block down a wee bit it's glass knife for the for the bonus banger We'll hit him for the four. That brings him a wee bit lower. And then the glass knife twice breaks that. I need to get rid of the injury really quick here right now. It's quite annoying. I can do dagger spray into strike into finisher. But I'm not sure if that does just more damage when I would go for the bouncing flask instead. Yeah. Now bouncing flask just does more overall. I'm just a bit annoyed about taking that damage there. Uh, triple block, probably. Yeah, dagger spray, quick slash, dead. Rough Justice 84 coming out today evening. Yes, I uh, have heard of Rough Justice. That's from the same makers as the Potion Dudes. Okay, we need Sneaky Strikes, I think. I mean, actually, technically, we need the terror over the sneaky strikes because the sneak. I mean, the sneaky strikes is nice because they could work with a discard if I get more discard cards. And that's a big if I get more discard cards, huh? One, two, three, lock. Mm. Hit that. Booms. Right now, I'm really like the, the deck is not bad, but I'm also not happy with the deck as as it is. Last knife is a double hit. My 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 fooms are gonna be nice because they they apply again, so that's cool. Uh, dagger spray. I'm dead. Poison step. Poison step. We need discard cards. This is this is what I'm hoping for. Discard cards. 
Okay, and Venom. Dagger Spray. Fooms. Maybe I should have played a card double. Yeah, I should probably play the card double. I hate to use the duplication potions early on, right? But it just seems better. Okay, and Venom, duplication potion. Yeah, do I even use the foams or do it just like, you know, hit him for 14 at that point? I mean, as interesting as the fumes might be, I just have that dude, like, essentially dead. 12 damage. Damage. And he dies, so that's good. Dead. Last knife. Dead. <sighs> Dagger throw. Drawn discard. Perfect. Ha 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 ha. I mean, like with the with the kite and everything right now, I think we're we're on a good track. Uh, we're going to go over this side, and we're going to try to hit the shop back there. Yeah. Receive three apparitions. Nope. Uh, yeah, obtain a special jaxed relic. That could work out. And we're going to smith up the bouncing flask, because that is just better that way. And we're going to fight. Oh, this, this dude should technically be easy, because we have the cards to make him easy. That being said, that's a should technically be. We hit him for the 15. We discard the doubt. We hit him for the 15. Get a glass knife. We hit him for the nine. I mean, my problem would just be taking like that stupid amount of damage. Technically you should block for eight, but I can hit him for 30 here right now. Yeah, now we're getting the dagger spray. It's always like that with this dude. Yeah, this is, like, just so very unlucky currently. I mean, the only good thing is that when they die, their po poison gets put over to the dude. So that's actually how, how one of my relics works, that it, like, transfers poison over here the specimen. So it's quite, quite nice to see, like, my poison just wander from the left to the right. Okay. But we're, we're in a bad shape. We're down to 4 HP. And I don't think we could have played this much different. Sun deal. Not bad. Sneaky strike could now work. Sneaky strike plus, to be honest. We need heal. Upgrade a card. Bane for 20 damage. Blood vial is good, but we are just... We're just so close to death and uh, I can actually not even protect myself from this. If I don't get a card, we're just straight about. Thank you. You know, it would have been straight about. No one would have liked to see that. Last knife is kill him. That's good because the poison goes over to the other guy. As I told you, like the poison goes over. So that's that's really cool. Especially for the way how this deck like plays. Can't get this for free, sadly. Can play the fooms. Okay, we either kill him now or we're dead. So do I have to play this different because we can't kill him? Okay, so save and quit. <laughs> Let's play this the other way around because it seems like we couldn't kill him fast enough. Okay. We'll take we we'll take the damage. 
It's only down to one damage. We can last knife him, as I said. And 12 him to then neutralize a quick stab. Maybe that maybe that's better. Maybe that's enough for what we're doing. Dagger spray, hid. Okay, if I play the Envenom, I think we... Do we have that with the Envenom? <sighs> Next try. Chat, we're, we're very, we're very annoyingly close to not or getting this done or not. Actually, we hit him for the 15. Let's try it this way around. Then we play the flask, as we said. Do this. Drop a card. Okay, we can do 20, as we said. 20. And I can do 4 and 12, actually. And I can hit him with a glass knife. Okay, that, that might work. That might be the damage that we were missing. So we do the 16 and the hit to get him down. And yeah, okay, that was the one we are missing. Now we could do this, that, and that. Another quick slash. We could take Catalyst technically as we're like trying to maximize our poison outcomes. Okay, I don't I don't want to fight the boss. Oh no, not him. Like I'm not gonna survive this. No, 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 no. Why? Why you give me this battle? Why give me something else? Give me anything else. No, 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 I can't survive this. I can't survive anything but that. There's no way I survive this. Oh, it is so bitter. The deck was actually fun and decent, and we get we get heard. Unlucky, ladies and gentlemen. We're having we're having better records in total, so I'm I'm making better choices in my cards. That's for sure. Uh, but it's still going harsh. Oh, lose six max HP, gain two hundred fifty gold. Yep. Let's let's waltz straight onto the buy point and buy something, Chad. This is one of my one of my favorite starts. I mean, you lose max HP that you technically can't utilize anyways, so it's never hurtful. Poison decks are fun. I mean, that wasn't really a poison deck. It just turned out somewhere around to be something in the direction of a poison deck. By the way, we took their damage point we completely did not have to take. Did you just really get 20 attack? Oh, I hate him. He sometimes has like so weird, um, so weird ways how all of his buffs work. You know, when, when he when he gets like lucky and and he gets like a very weird rotation, it just takes so much damage versus him. Okay, we take dagger spray. We could also take finisher. Finisher's action nice. It's attack, attack, and then it does twelve damage for one. Uh, but Dagger Spray hits like both, so that's good. Okay, what are we getting? We could get the Elephant. The Elephant is always potions. That's cool. Uh, at the start of each combat, apply four poison to all enemies is also very cool. Because we could take the four potion poison to all enemies plus the Inet Dramatic Entrance, which helps us in a lot of boss fights to instantly have eight damage to start with. And then we can remove a attack. Because, you know, you start the round, boom, eight damage to everyone. Then, boom, four damage to everyone twice and hit, boom, done. You know? Oh, it's it's a point, ladies and gentlemen. It is a poison, a poison deck. I really don't want to play a poison deck again. And we're back to... You know, the, the nuke always works. You just you just get an early nuke plus plus double poison. It's it's just mean. What are, what are they gonna do? That's a dagger throw to go faster through your deck. Oop. And before that thing gets annoying.
Double your poison. I mean, right now we don't have any poison cards, but I can double the poison, so that's that's nice. He dies in two turns, so I don't have to do a single thing. Why does he die in two turns? It's three and two. He just dies, and that guy dies too. Keltrops can work very nice. Okay, do we smith up or do we go now? I mean, he starts with the poison. We hit him. Give him the super poison. We play the Keltrops. Technically, really don't want to drink the thorns, but it could allow us to just kill him like one turn earlier. Block one time. He still hurts. A shuriken. That is great. Whenever we do three attacks, we gain a strength. That's a masterful step, which works very well. Uh, I really don't want to rest, but I have to rest. Hello, poison dude. Get poisoned and hid. Oh, uh, he's going down to 40 something. I could do another six to bring him down to 44. And then with eight, he's going to be at 36, correct? My moth is mothing, Chad. My moth is mothing. Gotta make double sure. We've had too many moth not mothing incidents. <laughs> Oh, it's another dagger spray. That seems greedy to take another dagger spray. I have one already. I want to take the sneaky strike to play it for free. It, it, it does really work out well with the... Ooh, Toxic Egg. Whenever you get a skill, it's straight up upgraded. We're getting the cards. We're getting the cards. Da, 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 da. We're getting the cards. Da, 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 da. Everyone dead. We are so good. This is brutal. Da, da, da. Acrobatics, yes. Four and discard. Can I fight the boss? It doesn't matter if I can or cannot fight the boss because I need to smith up this catalyst here for the triple poison. Heal 20 HP. Hell yeah, heal 20 HP. Hit him with the dramatic entrance. Give him the neutralize. Triple the poison. Acrobatics. Drop the strike. Get the defense. Could have actually played that different and hit him for bonus damage, so. Doesn't matter though. He still dies. Okay, Regin Potion, really good. Um, I'm gonna throw away the colorless potion, get the Regin Potion. <gasps> Crippling Cloud! Oh, ladies and gentlemen, things are looking very nice. Uh, I should definitely not fight this. Oh, that's a little bit of a bummer because he definitely gets the... Okay, dramatic entrance. Drink the potion to heal. Get him the triple poison. Hit him with the weak. Hit him with the 12 damage. Get the attack up. That's good. Um, crippling cloud and reduces attack a wee bit. Masterful step into discard a card, into hit him, into discard a card. So we're going to take some damage, but we're actually, actually in a very good way. So I'll definitely be healing. I could do 13 to him now, but that would be too much. So I'm going to do 7 to him. Play the Keltrops, play the defense, get that heal for 2. And then end the turn and heal another time for 1. Boom. Ah, nice. Pocket Watch, when you play three or less cards during your turn, draw three additional cards at the start of the next turn. That could be nice. Uh, flechettes could work very well because we have a lot of skills. So I'm going to pick up Flechettes. Never underestimate Flechettes. Okay, Chad? Killer card. Uh, we could do 12 to all for my starting hand on. We're going to do Keltrips Plus because Keltrips Plus just works perfectly well against this little dude here. Uh, I'm going to hit him for aid. I don't want to triple the poison on him, but I only have one other card to do more poison. So I guess instead of 
waiting. I'd rather do it now than, than you know, wait for the ominous turn where I might get it. Okay, we hit him with a masterful stab. We hit him with the dagger throw to drop this to sadly hit him only once with the flechettes, but that's bonus attack, and then we can hit him twice. Purpling Cloud. Nice. More poison. And block. I want the card again for, for like... That's Keltrops. Hee 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 hee. Keltrop deals a good amount of damage to him. You know, like he takes five now for every hit he does. And that's, that's significant. We hit him. We drop. We hit him. Uh, we double. So we get the bonus strength. And he straight up gets turned. Oh, uh, I go for wow. Ah, uh, that's yikes. I could take I could hit him so hard, but it wouldn't do anything. Yeah. It would be like just worth it. Uh we drop a card. So we can play this for free. So we can and reduce him again. And then he takes damage. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Hit him for 15. Could hit him for nine, but that wouldn't be enough. It doesn't matter. If I hit him for nine, he goes down to 15. He takes 12, and then he dies on the first hit. Boom. Well, so we could take Nightmare. Choose a card next turn. Add three copies of that card into your hand. Uh, that Nightmare can work very good together with Catalyst, especially since we have Twisted Funnel. Okay, you can only choose two or less rewards. I can turn all my strikes. I'm, I'm thinking about taking like two or less rewards because I have the nightmare. I have the catalyst. I just need to get like some poison cards, but I have everything I actually need for this deck to really work. Pandora's box, yeah, probably. Okay, we get Bane, nice. Concentrate, awesome. Tactician, great. Adrenaline, insane. Corpse explosion, insane as well. Because so they're skills, guys. Every skill I pick up with Toxic Egg gets made um, upgraded. So I guess that's where that's where going for Pandora's is nice. Okay, that's a store. I need to go to the store early. He blocks that. What a, what a what a meanie. Adrenaline. Eight damage to all. Three, six, seven. I'm going to draw three. Drop the tactician. Get two more energy. Uh, I could try to... Nightmare, Crippling Cloud. Do Crippling Cloud. Which doesn't work, obviously. But next turn, it will work. Hit it for nine. Use the Concentrate. Uh, drop the Catalyst for now. Use the Keltrops. Use the Concentrate to drop... That and that, and then draw two more cards next turn. Yeah, so now we have the Masterful Stab, the 13. Followed up by the Crippling Cloud. Into the Bane, if I want to. No, it's actually better to block. Oh, wait, that, that's, that is a mistake. That is a mistake. I made a mistake. Why? So I made a mistake. Okay, we can do the adrenaline. And we're at three, six, seven. We, we can do the entrance. We can do the acrobatics. We can discard the map. We can do the nightmare on the crippling cloud. We can try to play the crippling cloud. We can hit him. 
We can drop the poison. We can play the Keltrops. We can do the concentrate. Again, that is that and that going down. And then we can hit him for the 15. So we get that. But now, instead of doing that, what we can do is we can do the survivor first. Because with the survivor first and dropping the thingy here, I can play the sneaky strikes for free, which is interesting. To then masterful stab him, to then crippling cloud him. Mm-hmm. Now we could try to weaken him, dagger spray, and win. Ha! Okay, that's another bouncing flask plus. That's illegal. That's that's actually getting like we're getting illegal kind of territories with this deck here right now. Ah, uh, so I can do grand entrance obviously, which does nothing. I could do corpse explosion, and then I triple that. So he just dies in two turns. When we take 12 damage, but he essentially dies in two turns, so... I guess that's worth it. Oh, Dexterity Thorns. Mm. Thorns away, Dexterity in. Okay, we could take a Distraction for zero. You get a skill that costs zero. Oh, uh, seems like I should get it. Oh, we get, we get Curse 100%. But I get a Relic. And then I have to remove that. Oh, that's a kunai. So all three attacks will get strength and defense now. Wow. Okay, this is this is developing quite nicely. Uh, dramatic entrance. No, wait. Skill potion. Skill potion. Mm. Oh, that that is an interesting catalyst. Dramatic entrance. Uh, into neutralize. Into bouncing flats. Hello, Moisin. Du willst dich da drauf setzen? Oh, why? Guck mal, wir müssen eine Blume besiegen. Play to scrap. Oh, bouncing shots. Oh, my, it's the vergifted. And. Oh. Nochmal? Okay. Jetzt müssen wir uns schöne, tolle Karten aussuchen. Und jetzt dürfen wir einkaufen gehen. Und Papa kauft sich eine Laterne. Das war eine. Siehst du, das ist meine Laterne. Siehst du die da oben? Ja? Super. Gutes Mädchen. Mm, and then we're gonna remove... Like, we can remove a card from the deck, guys. Maybe the Wraith? Yes. And I'm gonna buy a Prepared for the... Uh, oh, shit. I wanted to buy the Prepared. So, jetzt müssen wir die drei, drei, drei Feen hier umhopsen. Let's play Distraction to get a random skill for free. Acrobatics. Okay. Let's make a... Adrenaline. Okay, masterful step. That's nice. In the back. Three six. We go for acrobatics. Uh oh. Uh oh. Das ist ja super. Mwah. Drop that. Corpse explosion for nine. Yeah. Du willst ein bisschen kleiner? Wo bist du ein bisschen kleiner? Du bist kleiner? Als ich? Ja, aber du bist ja auch voll süß. <lacht> ja, aber ich habe auch einen viel größeren Kopf als du. Guck mal, mein Kopf ist so groß. Hier. Ja? Du willst was sagen? Ja, dann sag mal hier was. Sag mal, hallo, ich bin. <lacht> Und wo warst du? Einkaufen? Was habt ihr denn eingekauft? Und was machst du mit den Eiern? Nein, Waffeln! 
Ja. Aber nicht hier runterdrücken, Mäuschen. Oh, Adrenaline again. Jesus. So good. This deck is insane. Du willst was sagen? Nee, dann sag mal was. So, sag mal genau. Nicht, nicht, nicht festhalten, nicht festhalten. Sag mal was da rein. Nein, du bist da oben. Okay, we're back. Sorry. Das da haben willst du? Ja, dann guck dir mal an. He's stealing my controller. Okay, we could get the... I'm gonna upgrade the flechettes, probably. Love that skill. Probably should just heal at this point and not upgrade anything because we are... We are just good, you know? Okay, we go for the adrenaline. Oh, Crippling Cloud, very good. Adrenaline. Distraction. Terror. Hit him. Was machst du da? Hast du Bumm gemacht? Hmm. I'm not sure if I could have played this better in any way here at this point. When we get the... We don't have any, any like, like, uh, armoring things, so that's a bit annoying. Hmm. Ja, musst du wieder dran kleben. Deswegen dürfte das ja auch nicht benutzen. Okay, one, two, three, four, then triple it. Get the cunning potion to hit him, and then. Ja, musst du wieder ran machen. Oh, now I got a dead branch, and a dead branch is insane because whenever we exhaust something, it actually comes back in our, you know, it comes it has a 50% chance. Uh, that it comes back as a random card. Okay, we're gonna heal. Oh, wait, we, we rested with the feathers. I forget that. Okay, uh, uh, Bane for 20. Was möchtest du, Schatz? Du willst das mit nach oben nehmen? Du darfst hier. Aber Mama ist gerade die Ella abholen. Okay. Wartest du noch kurz, dass Papa hier das kurz fertig macht? Du hast einen Knopf gedrückt. Du bist aber ein cooles Mädchen. Okay, they're just destroyed, guys, in the first round. Draw two cards. Aufpassen, es kommt die Knopfdrückpolizei. Dann bringe ich ins Knopfdrückgefängnis. Ja. Oh, a backflip to draw more cards. Du willst nach oben, alleine nach oben? Ah, okay, aber wenn was ist, dann rufst du mich. I'll be right back.
Okay, how can this deck just be so broken, Chad? How can this deck just be so broken? Um. Yeah. Dad. Is it afraid? Um. Told her to call for me if something happened <laughs> and she just randomly calls for me <laughs> she's like oh yeah you know like like let me let me just let me just call okay this is insane at, at how powerful this deck is it's just this is not funny anymore we're just we're just going through them like hot knife through butter uh powerful fight next round i mean this is this is risky only because things are going good doesn't mean they will keep going good We can hit him with the 20. We can hit him with the... Actually, no. No, 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 no. Uh, no, we can hit him with the dramatic entrance. For the backstab. With the corpse explosion for nine. The blade dance. Hit him for five. Hit him for five. Hit him for five. Hit him for five. He dies. Boom. He gets 60 damage and he dies next turn. <gasps> Not playing this game, Chad. Um, we could start always with flechettes, probably. Like starting hand. Might say, well, we start always Bane for 20 damage straight away. Only one defensive card. Um, I mean, like we we have we we have uh dodge and roll. Yeah, we have only one defensive card. It's not so good. Oh god, we just got a Sneko Skull. And uh, we just got a Sneko Skull, and we technically also get poison. So yes, we only have one defensive card. Yes. <laughs> that, that we do. Okay, we need to upgrade this to two weak. Okay, technically, we have everything we need to absolutely be a menace. So give him the six poison. Um, hit him with the flechettes. Give him the vein for 20. Dramatic entrance. And technically, we should give him the riddle with holds because that's a lot. But we're going to go for the seven block into the seven block and hit him with it twice as well. Then we go for distraction. Oh, that is that's malaise. That's actually really nice to hit him with that. I want to. Um, and we're gonna go for the shivs because the shivs are just too good to ignore because they uh, essentially create an infinite amount of awesome cards. Uh, we do concentrate to drop this, and we're gonna also drop the grand finale. Then we have three, six. We're gonna, we have three, six, eight. We're gonna drop this. We get two more. Then we're going to use bullet time to make everything for free. Play the infinite blades. Play the predator to draw two bonus cards. Play the kill drop to neutralize him. Um. Use the survivor on the malaise. Uh, do an expertise, which wouldn't work, actually. Uh, do a nightmare on the finisher. Hit it with a bane. Hit it with a finisher. And that expertise sadly doesn't do anything because we can't do cards. Okay, so... One shift into one deflect 
into the concentrate on Sorry for the interruptions. It's complicated. Then with a 15. Okay, do I just give him the finisher? Into the finisher, into the finisher. Is that it? Because they are just stackingly just getting stronger with every time. Shiv him. Adrenaline. Backstab. Deflect. Could be doing so much annoying poison to him that he just dies. Wow. What? Okay. Uh, that's another adrenaline chat, which is absolutely insane. And that's the slave's collar, which gives us bonus energy in elite combats. Uh, yeah. So... We need some more defensive cards, and we need to kill as many elites as possible. So there's two elites on that pause. There's two elites on that pause. There's technically three elites in the middle pause if I wanted to go for it. So let's see. Step number one, three, six, seven. Play dance. Step number two. Dodge and roll. Step number three, explosion. Hit him for the four. Oh, uh, 20. <laughs> 20. Doorbell from the waifu. Hit him with the five. And with the unload. Okay. I don't like taking the nine there. Hmm. Let's use the nightmare to take a triple of burst next turn. I could do 16 six times, but two times is enough. Good. Uh, that's it. I don't need more cards. I, th I think this is it. Fight a boss from Act 1. Hi. <laughs> Hi, boss from Act 1. How are you doing? Uh, three, six. Let's draw four cards. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Chan. Not okay. Would that be bad to do or would that be okay to do? But is that too much damage? Or is that bad? Should we should we like swap it up for two turns? We're gonna see if that was the play or not. Choke him. Choke him. Hit him. Ah ha ha ha. That too. Hit that. It's just too good. It's just too good. How's this? How's this? How is this just so obnoxiously good? 
How is this just so obnoxiously good? How is this just so obnoxiously good? Chad. Okay, whenever you would lose HP, lose one less. What? We could go for the accuracy, but we really don't need it because we only have the shivs right now for the kunai and the shuriken. So th that's actually the reason why I picked these shivs up because I wanted to be able to get them. Uh, lose 100 or tiny relic. Yep, sure. Rat mask. Get the weak. Okay, so listen, listen up. Oh, that's a corpse explosion. That's just not okay. Did I just? get a freaking corpse explosion that's like how how am i how is that legally allowed that i'm allowed to just literally get a corpse explosion there that's just not okay just absolutely not even funny like seriously not okay. seriously not okay just like whenever yeah add a random skill for zero why wouldn't i take that uh we we should definitely like go over the store but the store has nothing to offer but I just want to go to the elite and then to the next elite. Oh god, it's him, Chan. It's him. The other elite guy. Okay, distraction for free. That's a setup. Okay, three, six, eight. Oh, let's draw two cards. Oh, that's great. That's a crippling poison. That's fantastic. We love to see crippling poison. Uh, let's draw a card and then we discard a card that we don't need. Uh, we're going to play that for free. Thank you. We're going to catalyst him up for 40. We're going to play the 3, 6, 8 blade dance for 3. And we're going to get 3 more cards for free. That all could be cool. Um, we're going to play the slice too because we can. Uh, that one gets exhausted because why wouldn't it? The corpse explosion is kind of cool. Uh, the setup goes on top and I will play it for 0. Then we're going to hit him for 27 and 27. Oh, uh, and we'll play the dodge roll because we kind of don't want to take damage, I guess, at the end. And we take one less damage, so we take zero damage, to be honest. Uh, we poison him, play the blade dance, we neutralize, we play the shiv, the shiv, the shiv, and the shiv. And we get, like, cool cards for every time we play a shiv. Then we can... <laughs> then we can play this uh, times uh, three. So it's 11, it's 33 damage. Um... We could play that here to actually discard two cards, then to play this card to draw another six cards, to play the Adrenaline to like, get more cards, to then actually Bouncing Flask him, to Endless Agony him for 17, then to actually Dagger Spray twice, and then do the Riddle for 16 times 5. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, we could take that backflip, to be honest. Uh, like, with the cards we're playing, the backflip is only, like, eating us. It's not distracting us. Okay, I don't want to receive any madness. I don't want to lose any max HP. I don't want to become cursed in any way. Uh, but it seems like I don't have a choice, so three max HP is lost. Okay, um, we're going to fight the elite. Well, right now, I should relate. Like, the last thing I should be is scared of fighting an elite. That's for sure. Uh, we are applying poison. We're going to get a card. Oh, that's a Lex Sweep for free. That's great. We're going to play a Burst to get two of this here. <laughs> uh, two, then uh, get another bonus card here to have a Masterful Step. And we do the 20 damage with this. We're going to get four here. And one, two, three, four. We're going to hit him with that. We're going to do the Endless Agony. We get another card. So... We can exhaust this if you want to to just see what we're getting choke why not draw a card here and heard well, that's survivor that's quite nice because i can use survivor to drop this to get two more energy to actually use this card to get another strength bonus we then do the riddle me holds for seven times five yeah that sounds good and then the infinite blade so i just get more i guess next turn So he's down to one HP. Wait, doesn't the tangible, like it kills him, right? 
pretty sure the 20 poison kills him, even though it's, it's, it doesn't show that it kills him. It's like so weird how that shows right now. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just being a meanie and just, just getting more cards because I can. That's 11 on Keltrobes. I was sure that he dies to the poison. Seems so weird. I wouldn't really take damage, so we're good here. Uh, Dexterity, Flex Potion. That could be another Crippling Cloud, but that seems really greedy, so I'm probably going to play Escape Plan to just draw another card. Yeah. Ancient T-Sad, that's nice. We get healed. Okay, uh, what are we upgrading? Survivor, just so we get more block. Intangible puts poison to one. I get I get intangible robbed there. That's for sure. Hmm. Okay, so we can do we get five strength bonus. Yeah, we do dramatic entrance. Explosion. Then we do dagger spray. Uh followed up by crippling cow. Okay. Good start, good start. Uh we're gonna just uh delete us him. We can play it the other way around to do more damage to actually kill everyone. Potentially. And now I'm taking eight damage, which I really don't want to take, but yeah, I, I could have played this the other way around to prevent taking the damage there, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's another blade dance. Yeah, I need to take that. It just works so good with my setup. Oh no, not not the whale maw. Not the whale maw. Okay, ah, uh, distraction. Get a deadly poison. That's kind of mean. Escape plan. Get another card. That's adrenaline. Play the adrenaline. Get a wraith form. That's kind of cool. Uh, play the bouncing flask. Get that dramatic thingy. Uh, play another adrenaline. Okay, mm. hit him with the Bane for 20. Distraction, set up, get up. Um, we'll play the Wraith form here, to be honest. And with another 16. And with a Quick Slash, Concentration. Drop this and that. Put him for 16. Put the Noxus Shroom on top. Be for free. Yeah, Blade Dance to 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, beautiful. It's just, it's just like vastly illegal what this, uh, what this puts down. Yeah, not okay. I, I could have picked up the way laid out plans, but I, I said no. Oh, that's... Uh, we're really getting, like, the annoying opponents. I'm not going to lie. Not that it matters, but... Oh, that's adrenaline. Thank you. Okay, first the Bane, then the Distraction. That's Terror. That's perfect. Uh, The Entrance. Yes. That's another Adrenaline. Three, six, nine. Shit, I need to play some cards beforehand. Uh, we hit it. Uh, we discard that. Uh, that's three, six, eight. Because I draw two, but she also creates another card, you know? So this is important. That's seven times five. That's quite decent. So we'll just go and hit it. Uh, three, six, three, six, eight. So again, da, da, da. yeah, that's a crippling poison. That's good. Uh, we're going to hit him for twice. A draw a card, discard a card. That's going to be the infinite blades because we're not going to play them. Uh, we're going to do shivs. I actually missed out on a shift because I'm a bot. Heal hook. That's good. Gives me an energy back. Uh, concentrate. We're going to drop this and that. To drop the poison on him. To triple the poison. 
to give double damage next turn. Not sure. I feel like we could have we could have played a little bit better here. And I'll take the double poison plus that, and then he dies. But still, I feel, I feel like that we could have done that turn a little bit better. Oh, alchemize! <gasps> nice. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Eight damage to everyone. Hit it for twenty. Now, I really do want to not play this just randomly here, so it kind of feels bad. Uh, that's kind of of a stinker because I really... Okay, we're going to need to draw three. have to discard this one. We're going to masterful stab you. Uh, I'm going to use this to discard you and you. Then we're going to play Keltrops, Poison, Triple, and we're good. Good chat. We'll draw two cards. Uh, we'll hit everyone. We'll foom everyone. We'll punch her in the face and done. Yeah, I'm. I'm like just not sure how much, how much like better this deck can get at this point because we're. I feel like we're pretty much pinnacled here. You know, we've, we've, we've literally pinnacled. But that doesn't mean we can beat him because he is a power. You know, he's a, he's a very strong card. And he's very annoying to fight against. So we have Adrenaline. Start with Adrenaline. Triple. Let's get a... We have three, six, nine. Let's nuke first. Okay. Uh, we'll play... I'll we'll play Alchemize. We have three, six, nine. A drink a colorless potion to play Panachi. Oh, Panachi, very good. Might have actually played Panachi very much. Like, you know, wait, let's let's just let's just go back and absolutely obliterate this. Okay, so we're going to the fight. We're drinking the potion. We're playing we're not actually getting Panach then. Uh, that's interesting. Changes slightly with the with the cards we play and the things we do. That's a catalyst. That's nice. Um, do a corpse explosion on him. Because he would kill everyone. Uh, that one gets neutralized. Uh, weaken, I mean. We do a uh, distraction for free. That's double ganger and dad. Nothing good. We do crippling cloud. That's Tactician. We can drop Tactician for more mana. We hit him with a Bane so that he would die in the next two turns. That's good. We hit this to lose the double gangster. We do one, two, three, five. Hit him. Hit the mana. Play the Adrenaline. Actually choke him. Play the Adrenaline. Uh... Escape plan. Castle killer for the next turn. And catalyst for the double. Okay, he's gonna explode everyone for 35 next turn, so that's nice. If bouncing flask, we're gonna draw some cards. We're gonna discard this. Uh, that comes for frame. Of the distraction, that's an after images. We got a crippling cloud. Um, play the dodge and roll. That's for sure. And we're gonna play the backflip, even though it doesn't do much. And we do the 18 twice. We would have tripled the poison, but I didn't want to triple the poison there because we want him to essentially, uh, yeah, next next turn, the deck. Okay, I've never killed him that fast. Just saying. Okay, throw it that. We could do the flechettes nine times six. But... No, nine times six is okay. And we do one, two, three, four. Do another after images and another after images. And we do two more cards. 
Hit him. So we have triple after images now, and for every card we play, we essentially get like, you know, a bunch of bonus cards. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we concentrate to drop this and that to get more cards. Okay, then we backflip to get even more cards. Okay, the bouncing flask. Backflip again. Sneaky strike for free. Double ganger for next turn. So we just get more mana next turn. <laughs> okay, how is this? How is this just fair? Like I, I've never had such a such an insane deck before, but how's that just okay? You know. There's, there's like no, there's no survival for him. There's no, there's no chance to even to even blink. There's like there's nothing. You think that gamer streamers have to be good at games? No. I mean, it doesn't hurt to be good at games, but you can be good at games. You can have good personality. Uh, you can do esports wins. I mean, wh whatever you want to do. There's a bunch of ways to be proficient as a streamer. Okay, this is insane how well that went. I mean, we just went through 17 like there's no tomorrow, right? Okay, can we do 17? That is, normal enemies have more challenging moveset and abilities. Okay, I, I did not expect to actually make it to 17 today, guys, but we're going through. Transform two cards. That could be a nice start. I mean, it's, it's greedy, but we can transform two cards and we get something decent. Go through the right side. I get a cloak and dagger. That's nice because it gives me like an attack that I can launch at them. Make him weaker. Make him weaker. Put the eight out. You know. I would actually not take a single damage point, so that's cool. Get him killed. Take two damage. You bet it was just 16. Ah, don't you worry. We're getting through. When I mean, the goal is always to get to Ascension, Quick Slash, uh, and then to beat the heart on the final. Cloak and Dagger upgrade. I don't want to upgrade it right now, but I think an upgraded Cloak and Dagger is one of the strongest things I can actually get there right now. Because end of the day, it's just like this, this 8 damage plus like being able to get yourself an armor. So that's nice. Okay, we went through like you hot knife through butter. Endless Agony. Would usually not pick it, but it's an early good pick, especially with the card draw. Agony. Agony. Card draw. Defense. Defense. But I meant, like, with the with the early card draw of going through your deck fast enough, the Agony feels, like, worth it in my eyes. Armor up. Get you hit. No, no, no. Don't take damage. He, he, he. And again, if you would draw the Agony there, you know, get more. That's Dagger Spray. Awesome. Mm, we can do bop, 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 and we can get things up. Yeah, that's that's actually good. I, I like the the back-to-back -back things, like where... Oh, Agony. Agony. Dagger Spray. Armor up. Armor up. Was thinking about just going all in. You know, just be like, screw that. Hey, taking the damage, but it's okay. We have Cloak and Dagger. And we have him dead. Crippling Cloud, Keltrops, or Blade Dance? Hmm. What boss do we have? Hmm. I mean, probably Keltrops. Keltrops is just the best vanilla pig there. You know, it just does good. I want to upgrade the Neutralize. The weak two is way too strong. 17 is worse. I, I do agree that 17 can be harsh. Do 10 damage to all of you. That's for sure. I'm not sure if I should take 5 to potentially just kill him next turn, but I think I will be able to anyways do it. It's a little gamble, but I'm hoping for the good draw, and I didn't get the good draw. Great. It's a little bit of a gamble, and the gamble didn't pay out. I'm 
for that, we still we still took like minimal damage and we're almost through here. Oh, Keltrops, actually useful, actually useful. Bring him down to eight, so he's a one hit. Cloak and dagger, armor up. Clap him out of the kingdom. Give him the triple tab. Oh, nice. Prayer wheel, yes, additional card reward. Let's go. The additional card reward is so insane. Dagger throw, go. Because it allows me to just build up like such a nice deck so early. Uh, that's Keltrops too. How hard is the game from a scale from 1 to 10? That really comes down to your personal heal on boss combats. No, you on your personal experience with these kind of games. I mean, if you never played a game like this before, yeah. Good luck. It's definitely going to be something. And I know, I know people or friends of mine who are good at gaming. And they're essentially hard stuck on, on certain ascensions. You know, like, like literally hard stuck. They, they can't get past and they're, they're not stupid or anything. It's just like, they, th that's it for them. That's the maximum they'll ever get to, to that kind of, uh, ascension level. I'm going to take the eviscerate here. I'm going to build like the eviscerate discard deck. We have the means to do that. So yeah, I mean, like every, everyone is different, you know, in their, in their skill set. Everyone has a different approach to these kind of games and no, each each to their own. Uh, for thing, for that, and for thing. And I've always had an aptitude for card games, so that does help me here tremendously. Mm. I got a way to lay out plans already, so I'm gonna skip this probably. Oh well, that's a bouncing flask. So with a bouncing flask and a poison step, we could probably go. Okay, that is the Bouncing Flask. Into Agony, into Agony, into Draw a card, discard a card, and play Keltrops. I think the Keltrops here makes sense. Block, block, and poison. So we get him down to 20. That's good. Last knife, double hit. Yeah, perfect. Okay. I was scared that he would cost me the run because, you know, he's he's harsh to beat. Okay, that is bonus strength for playing triples. We need the sneaky strike. Oh, no. Heal 15 HP. Become cursed. I need to heal. Oh god, I don't want to become cursed. Anger the mushrooms. It's going to be bad. Be bad. Okay. Good. Um, Agony, Agony. I wanted to have the strength plus. So that next turn... Oh, should I forget to kill him? That's actually bad. The next turn, I would draw the dagger spray. And we could just kill someone as close as possible. Odd mushroom. When vulnerable, we'll take 25% less damage. Yes. Uh, we need the tactician or we need the... Upgrade a card in your deck, and we could upgrade the Bouncing Flask to one more Bouncing. So we're going to get healed by 25 when we enter the boss. So we heal, and then we heal. It's actually good. Like, I have never been that healthy straight away on the boss. 
Uh, was hoping to get the... Hoping to get more upgrades. Uh, first, Bouncing Flask, because I can play this for free. Playing that for free is always, like, such a such a nice touch. Okay, he's definitely going to split next turn. So, we're going to Agony, Agony, Hid, Hid. We're going to draw three cards. Fuck, and we're not going to get anything. I was hoping to, like, get the um, another attack. So, we could just, like, press him as hard as possible. Oh, right. You, you both are one attack for, for the maximum amount of damage. Great, great. That's great. That's actually great. Uh, that's 27 damage if I feel like doing that. No, wait, that was bad. Because I could have done dagger throw and 27 damage. I'm an idiot. Okay, we did everything the right way, Chan. We actually did everything the right way. That's good. That's good. That's good to know. That's good to know. We did everything the right way. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, just do a damage less. I think I just did a damage less. Oh, he splits to 84. So now we can do the dagger throw to discard this. And I can do that to discard this. And then I can do 9 times 3. Which is actually really nice in itself, right? 9 times 3. That's good. And due to our bonus strength, this is actually a kill. That gets him down. And we can armor up. He. <laughs> Okay, good start. Good start, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm feeling it. Uh, prepared? Yep. Yeah, drop that. Hit him for 15. Cloak and dagger. 7, 7, that. And almost done. Okay, I, I, I feel like I've been trying to go away from my main playstyle. And that has actually hurt me. So, you were seeing like how I was struggling to really get everything together. Okay, double, double elite. Let's try our best. But I think due to like returning to my roots, you know, my original OG playstyle, things are looking way better than ever. Also, we completely forget to multi-stream today to every single platform, Chan. That happens. Uh, let's go over the left side. I mean, deck is definitely not as strong as it was the... The first time, Ryan. I need the two discard from that because because the two discard is so strong for the eviscerate. With with one play. Yeah, straight up throw the poison at him. No, you're 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 thinking about holding that back, but honestly, he's he's so annoying. You know? He's so annoying. Just throw the freaking poison at him. Flex potion. Uh, we're getting draw discard. And oh yeah, I want to have terror here. I want to have it upgraded. Oh, I'm not sure if we're having this. Uh, ring. I'm not sure if we're having this. I do have the Caltrobs. Well, that's kind of pain. We don't like it, but it is what it is. I need the Concentrate. 
this card into gain. That has worked out very well in the past. Uh, whenever you deal four damage, deal five instead. Uh, I think I buy the lantern and the boot. It's not looking good. Callum, get to see there. Howdy. Upgrade all strikes and defenses. Yeah, we have so many strikes and defenses left. We actually have to upgrade them. How are you? Uh, we made an absolute insane uh, upgrade so far. So we've been we've been going through like the levels like crazy today. So I've been I've been very good because you might have missed this, but I've been struggling a while to get like through certain levels. And now, now we're, you know, on the rise. And it feels very nice. Cloak and dagger. Hit, hit, Ethan Stephens. Draw. Discard well laid out plans. Play this for free. Play the alchemize. Cultist strength. Hmm. I'd have to take this so we're able to beat him, like, in time. Oh, that was nice. But also very, like, we're very at the... At the edge of Ouch. Okay, I don't think I can find an elite, but if I don't fight this elite, I can't rest. So I'm going to fight this elite and we're going to die. Uh, that is plenty, plenty not to my liking, chat. Mm. Okay, we kill everyone. Yeah, that's my problem. Like, we kill everyone, and then we're hoping for him to not, you know, nuke us, but we're gonna get nuked. And there's like no way for me to prevent that. Like I, I just die. Like we're down to 10 HP. Oh, that is. Ah, oh, that is bitter because the 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 deck was good. We we're we we're putting something amazing together. No, 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 Chad. We're putting something truly good. Okay, transfer two cards, obtain 100 gold. I like the obtain 100 gold because that can be truly amazing in the beginning. We could go for these three, then here, then elite, then go through. Yeah. Or we could go for this, pop up, elite, another shop. Yeah, sure. We could go through the double shop, probably. Take eight or take one. Hate that when in the second round, you don't just have like three attacks. It just feels always bad. Hmm, I want to double hit him, but can't, so you get to take that. Okay, one, two, three. Got it. Under gold means double remove. There's two shops. Exactly. Uh, we could take the backflip for the draw. Decided against it. No more clutter. Lock. I do remember still my starting times with this game where we were like really going for uh down. We're going for the 
Ah, uh, that's dash. Mm, probably through the bonus money. Yeah, bonus money. We're playing like the warrior dude. Warrior dude, very fun. Take one damage. Ow. Warrior dude, very fun. The ironclad. That's footwork. Okay, good start. Good start. We could buy start each combo with one dexterity. That that is that is a very good thing to have. We could buy the wraith form straight away. But I think I like the one dexterity. That's good. And then we remove a card and we're gonna remove a defense because we could just get like a bunch of good defense cards. I wanna buy the masterful step, but we can't really. Oh, this is going to be an annoying combat because we don't really have any. Good work. Hit it for 10. I could hit it for 10 again. To. Is that the play? Oh, that is, that's a nice block. Good to see them, like, not going through this. Yeah. Barely dealing any damage. Very good to see. Okay, down to one. And again, they only deal one damage. Solid, Chad. Solid. Honestly, like when it comes down to just not taking. Ah, I like I like what I see here. How this all comes together nicely with the bonus dexterity here and the footwork, like having plus three straight away. That's something. Oh, uh, we took, could take the eviscerate, but last time we really did not have the cards to make that work. So we're gonna take the sneaky strike because we're gonna play that for free. We're smithing and we're gonna get the. Uh, dash up, actually. Yes. Dash is really mean when you get that up. Especially against him, it's kind of nasty because you just know that you're playing it for free. You know? I uh, Like, like you're not you're playing it for free. It's like you're, you're, you're doing damage to him, but you're actually, you're actually getting armor because else he would just hurt you usually. Uh, neutralize... Play footwork, get one armor up, get another armor up. Yes, he's hurting, but not as much as he could. Play this. To discard that, to play him. And now I need to drink this and hope that I get the dash. Yes, because that's another 16 blocks. He worked 27, he only does five damage. That's huge. And then we get him down. We block for 11. Again, only one damage, and then we have him. Boom. So, so few HP lost, actually, in this fight. That's nice. Piercing Veil, very, very good. The end is slime. Okay, we're going to rest once in a while. That's gold and a whetstone. Double attack up, and we're getting a... Nothing. That's good. Another boss fight. Oh, against this opponent, also very good. Uh, footwork, yes, we're playing it. And we'll hit him for the good old 13 straight up to the throat. Nine and uh, 12. Really dislike taking 20 damage there, but I didn't have any cards to prevent that. Yeah, just try to remove that all so next turn, like in case we have to weaken them, we can. Well, this is this is like getting more and more fantastic with my redraws, Chan. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna positively die in a second if that continues. Do 
love to unironically to see that. Three and hit. Thank you very much for the opportunity to straight away get that card back. That was very good and welcome. So I didn't have to like get absolutely punished. Thank you. Sneko Skull. Oh no, we didn't want to play Poison, but the Sneko Skull put a gun to our face and was like, you play Poison right now, you little shit. Okay, we uh, armor up. We hit him for 12 and we play the bounce. Dash into block. <laughs> and strike. Good. That's a backstab, if I've ever seen one. Heal for 16. Yes. And then we face the boss, right? I, I was really not up to facing the boss there. But what am I going to say? Like, no, I don't want to face the boss. This is not the... These are not the droids you're looking for. No. Give him to me. Oh, I should have played the dexterity first, by the way. I could have avoided one damage. And for one damage, I'm not going to, you know, reset anything. But it still feels like punished, man, when you, when you forget something for one damage. Okay. Decent start. Sun deal also every time you shuffle your draw pile again. But... Oh, another... Do I take two bouncing flask or do I take the burst? Probably two bouncing. I kind of don't want to rest, but I fought this fight without max HP and it always ends up in tears for me. Now, when I when I decide to be cocky and be like, oh yeah, what could what could possibly go wrong, you know, when you're not fighting this in full HP? Like it's... I'm gonna reduce his dude. We're going to eat the 28, that's for sure. But simply because... No, no, I wanted to eat the 28. No! No! Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I was a little bit too eager, Chan. I get him down to 11, so he just splits out. Chocolate pain. Six and six. That's bad that he's like out for my blood like this. Six and six, good. Ow. Fancy flask. Oh no, oh no, oh no. But actually very good because now, now, no, not very good. Chat, wh why is my brain so muddled? I think I've played too much Slay the Spire today already. I was like, this is, this is actually good for me. And I was like, no, no, this doesn't make sense. It's not good for me. Okay, we gonna reduce everyone's power. Oh, that was a very lucky bounce for me. I mean, not that I would have died if the... Oh, God, I'm going to die. Yeah, so we need to redo this fight. <laughs> yeah, so we got to redo that fight. Okay. Backstab, bomb him. And these are these are the obvious plays. Stab it. Okay, goes down. Stab, stab. Like stabby stab. Okay, if I play the poison, he gets another twelve poison, which would bring him down to low. So we could neutralize this, or we could play the footwork. We could 
Get him hit by 10 from the poison. To wait it. That's not really making it better, right? And we could do this. Hit him. So now he splits to 50. But I have to take the huge hit, so... If I hit it for 6, it goes down to 32. That's okay. I can get him into I can get him into an eight split. And then we're dead. Piercing veil. Into defense, into defense. Can kill, can do, can do this, and I'm still dead. Okay. How, how are we not able to 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 kill the freaking goo oozy goozy? Backstab that. Now I can do this and that. I would bring it down to, yeah. So now if I would take this, but now I can do that and this. And he goes down to 38. Is that better? Now, Chad. Can we? No. Ow. Down with the sickness. Okay, that thing dies. We can dash again. We can block up. So he dies. He splits. We can hit and hit. Ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, we managed to... We managed... No, did we? Did we? Yeah, we managed to get it done. Jesus. <sighs> undeserved. <laughs> undeserved. Very undeserved. Very, very undeserved. I'm going to take the... Okay, so no more no more non-boss chests, guys, with the cursed key. No more boss, non-boss chests. Okay, that is the first merchant on the right side. Well, right side it is. I'm always wondering how I can build so horrendously weak decks but also so absolutely strong decks at the same time. It's like such a such a weird mix how that comes together often. Okay, that 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 like freaking a freaking defense comes in really nasty especially with the curse key so I can just play two cards. You now being being able to play this amount of cards in one turn is just a lead. I mean, we have the Sneko skull so crazy. No, we don't need more cards. Yeah, I have the mana to play two bouncing flasks. It just feels so good when you when you can finally get that. Some decks are not supposed to work and still do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and some decks are supposed to work, but they don't do. I mean, that one, this this deck is definitely living just off. Uh, we're gonna do another sneaky strike. No, one is enough. Uh, everything else clear. So this this deck is just living off freaking like the the strike that I'm able to like strike multiple times. 
thousand cuts. Yep, yeah, that's nice. We go for this. Backstab the weakest. Hit the weakest. Hit him. Hit the defense. So, so that one block dash thingy, that's what we're living from right now. Uh, we discard card. We essentially play this for free. Sixteen. Yeah, we just kill him. That's dash. That's fire. Again, I just love dash. Right down. Now, almost, almost went like past not taking any damage. So, a bit sad that we did take damage. Um, that goes away. We're gonna hit him for the twelve. Absolutely robbed that that didn't kill him. Absolutely robbed. Dagger spray. Yeah, we don't we don't have anything like multi-attacky now. Bouncing flask. Ah, power potion. After image, bouncing flask. Backstab and dash. So we essentially just take one damage point or seven damage points. Oops. Then for nine, block. Then for six, block. These these plans and everything are so annoying. Uh, another dagger spray. Nope. Prepared now. I'm gonna go up here. Remove a card from your deck. Yeah, sure. Attack on. Okay, do I fight the elite? Do I not fight the elite? Uh, I probably don't. I mean, I, I want to, but I feel like I'm plenty weak and I cannot afford fighting the elite. Correct me if I'm wrong, Chad. I'm not wrong, by the way. But don't correct me. Please bless me. Actually, actually get blessed, Chad. Not, not even, not even kidding on that, on that roll. Uh, yeah, bonus card draw seems good. I mean, we're going to take four damage, but I couldn't change that. Uh, you get away. We play this, we play this up to 16. It's nice, like up to 16, like that That three dexterity is, is paying out so much. I didn't actually need to do that. I, I just hated the Hydra so much that I just went all out. It's another sneaky strike, but it plus, okay. Can't stay new to that. Oh, everything is 50% off. Everything is 50% off. Not good for this shop, but if everything goes good. Oh no, I, 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 I no, I made a mistake. I got the curse. Oh, no, 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 I made a mistake. No. Chad, I was too fast. I made a mistake. Yeah, that's, that's nice. To at least prevent some passing damage. I mean, you're still taking, like, from their first attack, you always take so much. It's like... Such an annoying thing. And I can 16 him. Ow. I'm playing more than ace cards, but I cannot play more than ace cards anyways, so that's good. Kissing Bale. Stop doing damage to me. Hit him for the nine. Go for the eight. Oh no, oh no, please, please hit him like three times. No! No. Here we go. Here we go. 
At least he only does like seven damage every turn. There's nothing coming from him. So there's there's like no sneaky surprise when, when he's going to like, when, when is he going to strike? No, he's just seven. Whenever you obtain a curse, increase your max HP by six. I mean, it's like, I would have liked that earlier, please. I can't take another. Oh God, we're so dead. I need to go. Uh, we're so dead. We're so dead. I, I cannot beat whatever elite that is. That's Stabby. I cannot beat Stabby. Okay, we drink. Uh, we play footwork. I hit you. I discard a card. I play this for free. I get you. I get that. But there, there's like no world in, in which I will like continuously be able to outplay that. As you can see, we're already dead. Ow! Ah, oh, robbed. Robbed. Very hard. Very hard robbed. Okay, plane, stand. And we made it to 17. That's that's remarkable for today. Obtain a random relic, choose a rare card, obtain a boss relic. I mean, we could just choose a card to obtain and just like get something very good in the beginning. I usually go for random relics because there are there are just no bad relics if that makes sense to you. Like, it's never like, oh no, this relic is so bad. It will ruin my whole playthrough. No, especially not in the beginning. Like, all, all relics are are somewhat uh, good. Get them all down. Oh yeah, done. Because it's third turn, more energy. Quick slash for card drop. It's like cool that's turn one then turn two and i just know next turn that i'll i'll be getting bonus energy so i can make a, a power turn depending on what i get duplicate potion nice another quick uh, like we're gonna go for acrobatics acrobatics has turned out to be a very good staple in, in many many situations okay go Especially when you don't when you don't have anything to play and you can just draw three cards. Just feels good. Oh, that is bad. Play the quick slash twice right now to get two cards so I don't take 17 damage. Yeah, I might might have to do that. Well played. This is kind of like if I if I don't do this, I'm gonna take 17 damage, and we really don't want to take 17 damage. Correct, Chad. Saved. Uh, Predator can work out. Most of the times doesn't. I do like the discard three and get. It has been has been working good. I've been having nice concentrate plays every now and then. I did underestimate concentrate at first until I learned like how how to really use it. Especially with all the card draw combinations, uh, that's where you then like notice, oh yeah, card card ain't bad, huh? Hmm. I'm gonna take five damage to do another hit because he's he's gonna like exponentially get stronger now, so we get to see that we get him down. Yeah. You reach the annoying stage. Should be, you should be able to kill him next turn, hopefully. Yep. Ah, oh, lucky me. Crippling cloud. I mean, now with the now with the discard card, predator gets interesting because you're gonna play predator to draw bonus cards. Oh. Uh, no, you're going to play Predator to draw bonus cards, and then you're going to be essentially going into the Concentrate. Okay, could you could you just not be so annoying? Do you see? Like, there's Predator. 
So we know next turn is already like two more cards and then it could be like the concentrate play. So you can go for this, quick slash, get a bonus card. You can, you can hit, you can hit and you could obviously go for the concentrate if you needed to. Good, he's down to a one hit. The Predator. Ow. Plus, you're also faster to, like, just go through your deck, right? Let's aid. Uno, dos, hit. When I mean, we could have done a double hit, we could have done more, but he's dead. No matter what. Flex potion into. I mean, now that we have the triple discard, we could play eviscerate or we could try to. Make Eviscerate work. Okay, Predator is a one boob for one of these guys, so that's nice. Like you can just you can just boob him. Then we do acrobatics, draw three cards, discard one. And then with that, do the concentrate. Discard, 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 and bop bop. Ha! Okay, apart from you now being annoying, that's it. Uh, we can hit for six and we can hit for four. And then we can block for 10, I guess. Might have, might have actually considered drinking a, a flex potion here. We just get that guy killed. We should have probably drank a flex potion straight away. I'm honest with you. To avoid losing some HP. But now, now the two can't hurt us anymore, so. Now, now they're just two tiny turds. We don't care. There's a lot of fighting happening upstairs, chat, by the way. Not sure if that's good or bad. Uh, we could go for a backflip for more card draw. Again, card draw into concentrate into the others. So that's that's right now what we're looking for. Need the heal, sadly. Can go to the store. Could buy. Start each combo with 10 armor. I like the anchor. One of my favorite cards. The Molten Act. Whenever you get an attack upgraded. Okay, this is... This is looking plenty nice. We need to get rid of the strike. Because I'm going to pick up more attacks now. Okay, get cards. Discard cards. Hit him. Play the concentrate. One, two, three. Hmm. It's 21. Ring. Oh, with the dash. Awesome. Yeah, that was that was something good. That's terror. So I really don't want to fight the elite. I need to upgrade my cards. Yes. And we ended up against Dave, huh? Okay, that's 21 as well. Uh, he's at 49. I can't bring him below 36. Sorry, chat. My moth needs to be mothing. That felt really bad having to split him like this. I don't like that. I think this might be a mistake, chat. Yeah. I think... I think that might be a mistake. Definitely not what I would like to see. Get in. I can draw three cards and I can discard one card. I can discard one card. I can hit that thing multiple times and slime. That was good because I can kill this, but the best part is how I cannot defend myself from that 12 damage. 
And I'm essentially going to take that 12 damage. And with the best part I meant, that is absolutely annoying. And I really don't like it. Oh, uh, that's not enough. Draw three. Discard one. Discard one, two, three. Play that for free and hit him. Good. Quick slash for another draw. Yep. So what I do want to do is I want to upgrade the concentrate so it's only discard two cards instead of three cards that could actually work. And we're screwed. <laughs> and we're screwed. Uh, we're going to make him weaker. We're going to kill that. I forget that I t start my combat with some HP. Forget that. Three. Three. Nine. Another six, three and six. I forget that I had a mana. Oops. His name is Fat Gremlin Chan. Ow. He does never do more than five damage. So I can always just chill. One, two, three. Oh, one, two. Error. And. Finish your plus over bouncing flask. That's the fire dude. Technic technically. Technically, we can just go in, right? It's the fire dude. He's not going to be that much annoying. Well, that's bullet time. Oh, I just press skip. I just press skip chat instead of pressing go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm gonna draw two. I'm gonna hit him. And then I'm gonna hit him. And then I'm gonna play bullet time. I'm gonna hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Neutralize. Block predator, so I draw more cards. He's like so much weaker when 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 you like really go in with below 15 HP, the the weakness is like crazy. When he still does damage, right? But significantly less. Okay, I'm going to draw 3. Card one. Hit him. Hit that. Oh, I wanted to. No, wait. I I could have I could have uh, protected myself. No. Mistakes were made, Chan. Might have to redo that fight now because I I'm, I pressed the wrong button. Because I might die. You know. We'll have to see how that turns out. But I definitely took more damage there than I had to. Yeah. And that damage will kill me now. Okay. Yeah, we, we took more we took more damage than we had to. Okay, let's try this again. We we drink the potion. We get a bullet time. It's not bad. 
We draw two cards. We draw one card. We draw another card. We play bullet time. We just really eat everything into him. Are we doomed? No, we we got this. We got this. We're just doing like very, very beginnery mistakes that we shouldn't do. Because we've been playing uh, for a while already. You know, you know how it is. Like after after a while the mistakes start seeping in. Really want to do the eviscerate here because a lot of damage. Lock for aid. Slash to get a card. Backflip. Uh, on some trade. Drop these two. Defend and 15. It's nice. Raw three. Rob the burn. Make him weaker. Big slash for 18. Okay, we got we got him lower. Good. Oh, is it the bonus card draw? Neutralize. Acrobatics. Drop that. Backflip. Get two more. Quick slash for 18. Concentrate. Drop these two. Eviscerate and finish. Boom got this the deck is good okay there's an unload plus for 18 damage for one which is not bad uh you can no longer gain gold we could go for pyramid pyramid is really nice like to keep everything in hand but we can no longer smith is not an option we oh, well technically we get every attack card from this point okay we can no longer smith because we have the molten egg i think that might actually be a play here yeah, let's see how that turns out. Because we, we have upgraded cards, right? It's it's working. Okay, well, what is he doing like with his 21 attack? He straight up wants us to like just spend everything on defensive treasures here. You little, you little gangster. Terror. Yeah, eat that. Acrobatic. Drop one thing. Hit him. Hit him. Play this to drop that. It was actually really nice. Then hit him with the three times. Ba -bam. And hit him with the... Wow. Okay. Cool. Oh. Uh, that, 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 that was, that was, that was quite nice. It was quite nice. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Quite nice. Quite nice. Quite nice. Quite nice. Quite nice. Oh... Do I take an upgraded poisonous tab? It's like like a waste to not take it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh draw three. Discard one. Use one more. Discard one. Get him with a card draw. Get him with a card draw. Concentrate to drop these two. See, that's that's what I mean like about an upgraded concentrate. You can you can do so many useful things with that. I'm like bamboozled every time right now that that works so well. Terra. Hit him for one. Hit him for two. Backflip to get some more cards. Poison stab. And then hit him for the 12 times three. And he's dead. Ladies and gentlemen. Dagger spray times two, yeah. Look at that unload. Unload very nice. Uh, we get five energy. Five energy. 
We could we could drop the eviscerate twice on him. That could be interesting. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we do three. Drop. I'm going to drop the eviscerate twice on him. Get the unload in. And step him with poison because he can he can only do like four damage to me. Wow. Okay. Quick. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Okay, we don't really have poison, so and we can never upgrade the catalyst, so we're gonna ditch on that. Whenever you obtain a curse. Oh, uh, unplayable status cards now can be played. No, we could get the dash plus. Hmm. Flash of Steel. No, six damage draw a card. Flash of Steel is really nice. Uh, we can remove another attack. And we could probably take the dash plus. Yeah. Oh, why are we going for the Burning Elite? When, when did I decide to go for the Burning Elite, Chan? Are you reading Blade Dance this low? No, I just don't need it in the deck that I'm playing here right now. It's not that I'm rating Blade Dance low, it's just more the, the deck I'm playing doesn't really need Blade Dance right now. So that that's that's a vast difference in, in perception, you know, how, how this how this goes. The deck I'm playing does not need a Blade Dance. Hmm. Or the way I'm playing right now, say it's different. Nice. That's Wraith Form, which we can never upgrade, but it's still Wraith Form, and Wraith Form has saved my ass many times over. Oh god, we're so dead. Is that is that where Wraith Form has saved me many times over, Chan? Uh I mean it's 1626, it's uh, something something. We have the dash for the 13 block plus, so it could also be that I just utilize that. So I could, could do this to be at 23. We could make this lower. We have a flash of steel as well. We have the dagger spray. And bring him down to 10 so he really dies next turn. And I'm not sure if the wraith for him was the better call there. And hit him so he dies. Get a card. Get a card. And the thing is, they just don't stop attacking, so it doesn't matter what we do. Oh, shit, I forget that I needed the block there. They don't stop attacking, so... Like, if I waste my time playing the Wraith for him, we're, we're getting, like, kind of screwed over, so I can't really waste my time there playing the Wraith for him as much as I want to. Yeah, we need to we need to play it that way. Kind of like the wrong order there on the cards. It's poison step. Nice. Draw, draw, armor, armor. When that 18 damage card comes in quite handy to just be able to like you know, literally just murder him. Ow! But I'm alive. Backflip. Uh, yeah. And then... Good. Paper Crane. Weakened enemies deal 40% less damage. Over Bane Plus or Dagger Throw? Dagger Throw would take. Uh, yeah. Heal 13 HP. Thank you. Uh, I can't fight this elite. So rest, heal another HP or we'd be d just done. Uh, meal ticket. Perfect. So if we enter a store, we heal. have drawn three cards but i think i'm gonna keep that now for the the echo gecko uh could use the wraith form here 
to essentially not take any damage. Yeah, one one time taken care of. Then with the dash. Draw the backflip cards. Get a poison dagger for free. Yeah. Love to see it. Love to see it. And unload. Okay. That Wraith Form C, that saved our buttsies here. A uh, heal hook. Heal hook is nice, but we don't really have anything to profit from that. Well, we have one week, and that's it, so. Oh no, not the arena. Not the arena. I can kill one straight away probably. Do flash of steel. Oh, uh, we can do one hit. Two hit. Three hit. Forehead. And since we have here the damage, we don't get hurt. Uh, neutralize. We don't have anything to block. Panic button. Or I do 13 damage to him. Wait, is that enough? It's not. I need the panic button. You know, I I I need the I need the fanning button. Okay, we could kill him straight away. We confirmed that. One head. Two head. Three head. Four head. Actually, like could do some damage to him, right? We made a mistake again. We made a mistake again. We made a mistake again. Two, two, two times. Mistakes made back to back again. Well, that is very annoying. I think that I could avoid that. I could avoid that damage taken. <laughs> It seems weird to like redo this in your head, but you could avoid that damage taken, like, right? Just don't see a reason to take unnecessary damage. Okay, I can do 18 to him. And then I can do, so I, I think I need to do the eight damage here. Then I have 18 plus 16 right now. I'm gonna have 18 plus 24, correct? 18 plus 24 is 42. Have to hit him, hit him, and then finish her him. Good. But see, we have the damage more here so that when we neutralize him and we hit him and we eviscerate him down to 23, and then we're taking the panic button. That now with the 19 and the 13, we get him killed. Uh, we escape because we're not powerful enough to, oh godness Christ, to fight that dude. Uh, acrobatics. I could play that different to do more damage. To do way more damage. So we can actually have him dead straight away to his right. I'm dead anyway, so nice. We just dealt more, you know. Uh, backstab. 
Poison blade. Unload. Finisher. Surprising working out very well, these decks we tinkered together here. That's another sneaky strike we can play for free. Technically for free. I'm going to try to, like, break him straight away. Oh, my blast. 20 damage. Flash of steel. Slash. No dagger spray. I mean, that would kill him straight away. Yeah. Yeah, better. Yeah, better. Hat die Mama gesagt, du sollst runterkommen und fragen? Ich bin gleich fertig. Okay, end turn. I'll finish it down. That's distraction plus. I love the distraction plus. It's such a such a good card. But only when it's plus. Okay, can we kill him straight away? Is it even worth it? Okay, with three six, we have a lot. So we're gonna draw acrobatics. Uh oh, that's nice. We're gonna Discard a card. Mm, I'm gonna hit him with a poison. The poison's like really, really good because, you know, he just dies over time. Mm. With the dagger throw. With that. Distraction. Bullet time. Yeah, bullet time. Why not? Making sure that he like just dies over time now. Ah, uh, I hit him for three and he dies. Perfect. Mm, 21 or 16. I oh, know. Wait, actually, I can do this. That's actually really nice because I can play the sneaky for free and then I can follow up with this and I can still hit him. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah, we, we play the Wraith form. Not take any damage, and then we hit him. Woo hoo hoo. Oh, uh, that's bad. No, that's Glass Knife Plus. Yes, I was thinking not, thinking about not taking it. Or rest. And next turn, we have the meal ticket to really help us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the, the harder boss incoming. The harder boss incoming. I could play Unload to actually discard. Acrobatics and Wraith form. Yes, I play Unload. I discard these two. He goes down by two. That's kind of nice. Now we can play Quick Slash. Or we can play Dagger Throw to discard that. Zero. Dagger Spray. Hit him for 21 and follow up with a lot of damage. Okay, halfway through, Chan. Then we have Distraction to give us a random skill. That's Adrenaline. That's nice. Draw two cards. Get that. Uh, we get the Flash of Steel just to get a more card. Glass Knife. Double draw. Predator. Okay, we can do the Glass Knife to just do horrendous damage. Nice. Then we can kick him in the face. Done. Um, I'm going to do the Concentrate... 
to drop one, two, so I can level up to 23 and hit him for the 15. Why are we not killing this dude? Because usually he should now work on resummoning some stuff. Survivor, drop this, play that for free, hit him and armor up again. Now we're, we're doing, we're doing good of getting him like low. Hit him. Draw. Shit. That was, that was the most disappointing draw I've seen in a while. That's bad. There's a world where I might want to play intangible now. So we can just be safe for the next two turns. So I can just focus on full damage output. He's going to do one damage, right? They're, they're going to like next turn try to hit me, but I don't have to care about that. We can hit him, hit him, hit him. And again, they're going to do like one, 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 but we could, we could like full focus on damage. Now we can do glass knife. Berkey, mo moin, good to see you there. Wonderful, good day. Okay, I'm doing good. We get the die, die, die to actually deal insane damages to everyone else. And really enjoying the game. I mean, I've I enjoyed the game from day one on Berkey. It's been, it's been always fun. See how our good. Uh, we need to go to a shop. Shop here. Elites after another. Yeah, shop. Shop and elites. That should work. We we need the shop for maximum like awesomeness. Okay, we could clap him with a glass knife. Pull up with a stab. Into another stab. Oh, that was actually the wrong order. Sorry, Chad. Sorry, Chad. So, we could play the back to draw two cards. But then, again, hit him with a glass knife, with a poison, and with a stab. Now you want to do 16, but we don't want to take 16. So we're going to hit you for 6. We're going to hit you for 17. 15. And 6, and you're dead. Ooh. That's the family. Eardrum problem. Now we're working on fixing the eardrum problem in its whole entirety. Um, there's still, like, some 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 pains that Arya has, but uh, all in all is looking better. Lose Essence of Steel, lose 50 gold, lose Sneaky Strike plus 50 gold. Oh, that's the Winged Boots. The Winged Boots are really nice because I can just jump over the map with that. I get Waffles for more HP increase, but we're going to thin out the deck here a little bit because my deck is really big. I get a Dagger Spray plus as I thin my deck out. So yeah, we're, we're, we're on the mend, but we're not, you know, uh, good yet. Okay, I destroyed that one thingy straight away. It's actually kind of mean. Not sure if that's also the wave. It's gonna come back. take damage well that's nice dagger spray flash of steel unload 
Okay, we could do quick footwork plus. Yes, lucky me. Pony's getting really the good cards here, to be honest. Flash of Steel. Hit him. Footwork plus. Dash. It's going to make a huge difference to have that. Also, to have the poison, like, you know, ticking down on him is, is quite something. Hit him. Hit him with the dagger spray. Hit for the 15. No, I don't think I had to take 12 there. I, we could have played that better. That here is getting better. It's really slowly. Like, we, we have to, like... We, we got a little balloon that we have to, like, put into her nose now. Um, That that has to inflate, kind of. Um, to, to, like, make sure that, that her breathing channels are always, like, free and so on. So, we're, we're getting there, but there's still a lot, you know? Yeah, I mean to to like fully heal that 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 is gonna be still an endeavor. Okay, that that thing is like very hard on higher ascensions to actually herd. You know, hurting hurting this dude on higher ascensions is is something. Oh yeah, Wraith Form, thank you. Wraith Form is the ultimate savior against this dude. That's just like, yep, Wraith Form. Okay, Wraith Form. Ah, oh, lucky me that I just drew that. Oh, that's another footwork plus. That's actually greedy. Okay, so I don't technically have to fight the elite. I could just jump away from the elite. So I could go here, there, and there, and whatsoever. But I guess we could also check him out. Not sure how strong we are really are at this point and how much we can get going. Three, six, yeah, two more cards. Well, that's a bouncing flask. That's actually pretty good. Okay. Still don't feel like we're doing like super damage. We just do okay damage. Predator, glass knives, finisher. Attack him, drop a card, flash of steel him, play this for free. Draw some cards, could work. Wig slash. Dash. Finally, Terra. That took us long enough to get. Should play Wraith form. To avoid just any damage taken, you know, and fully focus on damage. Uh, fully focus on hurting the dude right now. my intangible gone hey I need to kill it now or we're in trouble can I kill it yeah, I, I can kill it. I wasn't sure. I was like, yeah, if we don't kill it now, we're a little bit in problem. More sneaky strikes for free. Let me heal. Let me jump to a normal fight. And that normal fight is not a normal fight. It's him. <laughs> oh, that is a bad... That is, that is not a normal fight. That is the... That's really not a normal fight. 
Um, I hit him with the predator, so I draw more next turn. I hit him with a sneaky. I hit him with the unload. I hit him with the defend. Into the unload. Ow. Uh, footwork into six defense, so that's nice. I can go backflip now. Dagger spray, dagger spray. Should have probably just avoided the damage. We're honest. Like, not even risk it. Uh, discard this. Play that for free. Get a card. Distraction. Get a card. Discard the card. Be good about it. Okay, he's, he's want to do 10 times 30. We don't want him to do 10 times 30 because that's kind of like uncool. Okay, 14 block, 22 block. Ow, we, we're alive. Uh, hit him, hit him, discard hand, draw hand. Hit him. Oh, we, we essentially have to like kill him next turn or he's just going to destroy us and we don't want that. Okay, we hit him with a weak. That is 30 damage. That is, uh, yeah. Woo! Uh, it's like testing with the fastest in Warzone and they still use the lowest recoil weapon. Hey, you know? Okay, we get the upgrade, which is Sid. We get the heal, which is good, because that's the thing. We can now just stumble into these stores and just get our healed, you know? Yes, a Rust and Raft. Uh, we'll definitely be looking at playing some survival games. I think Chad, Chad is excited. Even more excited than I am. And I'm just medium excited. Okay, I hit him with the... Into the footworks. Upgrade, upgrade. Back here, the 12. Okay, for works, uh, that discard, play this for free. Poison dagger them. Perfect, dagger spray. Up for 16. That for 16 as well. It's a world where we get both downed. There's also a world where we don't get both downed. That's acrobatics for free. That's nice. Discard the backflip. Okay, so this would be 21. 21 would take him out. Interesting. Big slash is aid. Okay, he's going to come back. Unlucky. But we can do die, die, die. Flechettes, ladies and gentlemen. That is scaling with skills. Okay, I don't want to fight another, like, elite opponent again. So I, I'm fighting, like, people that are even more annoying instead. Because that's what we do. We dodge a bullet to run into the next bullet. Draw a card. Mm, draw two cards. The glass knife is actually really nice. Uh, I could just absolutely obliterate him straight away. That would kill him as well if I wanted to. Mm. That. Yeah, I could, could have, like, tried to, like, eat it all on him to just get that guy destroyed. One, one. 
Okay, that's uh, very bad for the flechettes. Burn that. Get him. Okay, flash of steel. Quick slash. Die, 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 and kill. Ooh. Oh, oh, alchemize, cool. Uh, I need to jump to. I have no more shoes to jump. I made a mistake. I have no more shoes to jump. I made a mistake. This is bad. I thought I had more shoes to jump around to more, but I don't. Okay, step one, flechettes. Step two, unload to get rid of the unwanted cards. Eviscerate. Draw a card and hit him. We got, we got him, we got him low. We get him low. We get him low. Uh, upgrade everything in my hand. That's good because I can play this for free. Boom. Plus six poison potion. Then the backflip for eight block. Awesome. And two cards. Dash another twenty one blocks. So we're we're into we're in the block range now. Uh could just try to hit him for sixteen, which does nothing. Okay, that's forty five damage. I really don't want to take forty five damage. So we're gonna play distraction and we're gonna get nothing. Well that's fantastic, I guess. Uh <laughs> We are factually dead if I actually take that 45 damage, so that is bad. You know, we are factually dead if I take this. I'm not sure if we can actually do this different because... Yeah, I'm not sure if we can do this different. When we, we're nuking out the damage, that's for sure. Nothing changes, right? Then we're definitely going to drink here. Uh, to play the backstab, to get the alchemize, to get the poison. We could not play the dagger throw, I guess. Yeah, but we end up at that point where we get nothing. So we die here. No matter what we do, we die there due to an unfortunate draw. That is very Ascension 17, if we're honest. That is very Ascension 17. Also, the last Ascension we're doing today. Thank you very much for coming and watching, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here with me and hopefully having fun with us, Slay the Spire. I really do enjoy streaming that also here, but we have some other games coming tomorrow. We're going to be trying some Potion Tycoon and other shenanigans. So I wish you a great, fantastic, good day. Thank you for coming and watching. And well, as always, don't forget to check out the bots, membership, subscribe.